In this video, I'll be replacing a burnt terminal block on a range. You will need a 3 8 deep well socket and a Phillips head screwdriver. If this is your first time here, welcome to the DC Appliance Repair channel. Alright guys, I already got the four prong plug loose from the terminal block. It was just three screws holding them in. Um, there is a long, two long Phillips head screws that's holding the block, the terminal block to the frame of the range. They're located in the two holes there. You can remove that and that'll loose, that'll give you the ability to <clears throat> loosen the terminal block off the frame. So here in this clip, I already got the new terminal block ready to be put on. You want to take your 3.8 socket and um, make sure you get them good and snug. I like to start them with my hand first so you don't strip them. Messing with terminal blocks, they can easily be stripped and you can ruin the whole block. So put your red wires, your two red wires on the left side. Your white wire is going to be your ground wire. It's going to go in the middle. And then you got your two black wires that's going to go to the far right. This job here maybe took 15 minutes at the most. In and out of the house, less than 20. Writing the invoice, the customer was happy. Go back to our room, make sure you got them good and snug. The next step, we need to replace the old four prong plug wire. It did get burned on one end. And anytime I replace the terminal block, I like to just replace the cord too, just for safety reasons. But we need to loosen up the uh, wire clamp here. Um, it's just two Phillips head screws so we can pull the old four prong out and put the new one in. So let's put the new four prong through the wire clamp. Here's the new four prong plug for the oven range. We're going to slide it back up through the clamp and then tighten it back down. This clamp's there to protect the wires from being cut. So the new terminal block comes with the hardware already in it, so we're going to remove the three screws out of there so we can hook the four prong plug up.
like I explained earlier, it's better to start these screws with your hand. They're real fine threaded, so they're easily to be, get cross threaded. And I do not like using my drill, um, my impact on these, because like I said, they you get a better feel for it with the uh, screwdriver. So it's just safe to do that this way. Now you match your red wire with your red wire, your white with your white, your black with your black. And then your green is going to go on the ground on the bottom. Your white and your green is your ground. They're just two separate grounds is all. Once I got these tightened down, I like to straighten them out. You can see the white wire is a little crooked. The black one will be a little crooked too, but I straighten those out so they just look neat. And you ain't got to worry about them touching anything. Now that you got everything hooked to the terminal block, it's time to put the screws back into the terminal block itself and uh, attach it back to the frame of the range. Once you get the terminal block fastened back in, now that you can take your green wire, which is your second ground, and there's the little metal piece that's coming out of the terminal block, you're gonna put it behind the uh, ground and put the screw in it, and you'll be ready to rock and roll on to the next job. Um, <clears throat> don't forget, to you know, of course, you got to put your cover back over the terminal block itself. You don't want to leave that exposed, which this one had it. I just didn't have it in this footage. All right, guys, thank you for watching my channel. I hope you're enjoying the information that I'm putting out there. If you felt like you've learned something today and would like to contribute to my channel, I put a PayPal button at the top right-hand corner of my page. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.